Hey there guys, it's Tina and it's time for another vlog. All right, so here's what's happening right now. I am on my way to Sephora. Oh my God, I have the little Sephora tote. So is it called a tote? Like, what do you call this? <laughs> the canvas bag. So I'm on my way to Sephora because the VIB, well, the Beauty Insider sale really, just started and I am Rouge so the sale starts for me today I am able to shop the full duration of the sale because I spend way too much at Sephora apparently anyway putting on some lotion you guys should check out this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hand Gel Cream. It has hyaluronic acid. Here's what I like about it. It's very lightweight. It's a gel cream, so it absorbs really quickly. Since we're washing our hands so frequently, and because it's colder now because it's winter time, I always have lotion in my car just for any time I'm feeling ashy. But it makes my hands feel really nice and comfortable. And if I can get a little bit of skincare, for my lotion and hand cream, like why not, right? I'm also applying a little bit to my foot because I forgot to lotion my foot out of the shower, so I'm ashy. Anyway, that's not the point. I'm about to head to Sephora to pick up some orders that I made online, which is what I prefer to do. I order my products ahead of time, pick them up in store so I'm not like lingering like, hey, what's going on? So I'm not like shopping around doing the most and I'm able to shop through my own affiliate links. I I know I know I can shop through my affiliate links support my own damn self right and get a kickback on the purchases that I make online that I'm picking up in store so I'm not missing the instant gratification either so yeah if you shop through my links thank you so much for your support I truly appreciate it because it does help me to put literally right back into the channel so that is what I am about to do and I like this position of the camera. It is not gonna be able to stay up though because I'm like balancing it on my, my air vent. It's like a whole situation. So one more update before I drive off. I am gonna get a new car this year. The best time to buy cars is towards the end of the year when the salespeople are like pushing to get their end of the year bonus. So they're trying to get as many cars moved. So I'm going to go shopping in December for a car. A lot of people recommend online to do it during the final week of December like literally do it New Year's Eve because you're bound to get the best deal then but because it's the last day and any sale they can get is gonna count so they really really push to get the sales done but I'm like I need more time than that because I want to be able to walk away and then come back the next day and I'll probably be in Florida for the holiday anyway because like I said my mom bought a house there my brother is there all my nieces and nephews so we'll probably spend Christmas in Florida and Thanksgiving I'm going to spend in Queens with my aunt so we're gonna kind of split the holidays this year so we're gonna see um it's gonna be tricky though so I have to shop the week before Christmas but that's not a good week to shop either because then people are buying gifts like cars as gifts I never understood that how you buy a car for a gift? like are you balling I mean people are balling like that but like regular schmegler people buying cars as gifts like what like mm -mm. anyway that's what I'm gonna do I'm thinking about getting a Acura RDX that's what I'm thinking I didn't like the MDX because it's just too big but I'm thinking I want to go for a smaller SUV style vehicle this time around we'll see we'll see I don't know like I'm gonna cry I'm literally gonna cry when I trade in my car because I'm just gonna trade in my car like I'm at the point where I'm fed up with my car right now because I just had to change um, the power steering lines so I had a leak in my um, in one of the lines and they had to change that out and that was a lot of money well it wasn't like it was like $500 but still like that's a lot of money and I don't want to be spending that and so I'm like I don't want to fix this car anymore so anything that happens I'm just like I don't care I'm gonna trade it in and see if I can get like if they give me like two or three thousand for it it's fine and that will go towards my down payment with whatever else I'm putting down so we'll see I don't know 
I don't know. I just know I'm going to cry my eyes out because I've had my car for so long. It's my baby and I'm so accustomed to it. I am a creature of habit. So change is like, oh my God, I don't want to do it, right? And like, I'm so comfortable with my car. Like my biggest thing is that I need to be comfortable in a car. I need to know all the blind spots. I need to know how to like, how it maneuvers, how it breaks, like all of that. So to get comfortable in a new car. And I mentioned this before, I've driven so many cars, like with my ex we went through a couple of cars because he's the car person we had a truck with that we started out with he had a e-class benz we had the bmw 7 series which oh my god that was just so big and too extra for me and then uh he went with a chevy tahoe which is a huge truck that is too much too so it's like i've been through cars and i've rented cars on trips and driven like different cars and I never quite fell in love with a car. I think the only car that I really liked was a car, I forget what kind of car it was, but it had an AC outlet for my laptop so I could plug my out. I mean, it obviously wasn't AC, it was DC powered, of course, but they had a converter to AC current so I could charge my laptop with my actual um, adapter. So I'm like, what? Oh my God, okay. Apart from having like the USB connections and like the DC ports, fine. But that had like an actual AC outlet. And I was like, ah, oh my God, like, because <laughs> I used it. And that was the only thing that I was like, that is really functional. Other than that, like other cars, I'm just like, I dated guys that drove all the luxury cars, right? I've driven Range Rovers. I've driven like luxury cars, Corvettes, you know, the Porsche Cayennes, like... I've driven in all these cars and none of them like strike me as a car so cars aren't my thing so I just want a car that gets around so that's what I'm gonna be doing later on this month I'll probably take you guys I'll try I'll see I don't know sometimes when you do certain chores and activities you don't want to be bothered with filming it you know what I mean but anyhow I am headed to Sephora now and I'll take you with me for a little bit and I'll show you what I got. This woman is arguing with me in the drive-thru. Like, she thinks she's slick because she's sitting there at the drive-thru at McDonald's. Like, is she serious? That's so funny to me. Because I got all day too, mama. She's like yelling like, ooh. People are so funny. So she was sitting there like and the drive through was empty so she should move right move ahead so i honked my horn and i didn't like go crazy and she's like already yelling i'm like how angry can you be to be yelling in a drive through like it's mickey d's ma'am it is never that serious like i was just alerting you as to yeah Hello. you can move up now hi you got the, the call for the puppies yes no receipt please thank you have a good one like legit, she got nothing else to do, nothing better to do with her life that she's gonna be screaming in a drum. Ma'am, please. <laughs> so stupid. And she thought she was irritating me. No, I'm irritating you. guys and I bought way too much I didn't spend too well I guess I spent like two hundred dollars but I did an exchange as well so I brought back so I returned some products so I got my what is it how is it pronounced I know it's Margilia but is it Mycin or Mason Mycin Margilia the replica um, some candles I got a replica fragrance I got my La Mer foundation that I wanted to try out. I got a couple of velvet creams. Well, one velvet, well, two. Two velvet creams from Yves Saint Laurent YSL. And I got, oh, child. 
and I got the Hydra Grip Primer. Where is it? The Hydra Grip Primer from Milk Makeup. And then my pickup orders is a lot, guys. Is a lot. But you're going to have to watch my haul video that I will surely be doing because it did the most. But I also have like a pre- Sephora haul video that I already did so I already did a haul and I spoke about like my wish list and what I think I'm gonna get and that's exactly what I went ahead and got so I'll show you like the whole shebang <laughs> which I am embarrassed by because I have so oh. <sighs> I feel like right what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna have buyer's remorse I'm gonna feel guilty and then I'm going to return some of the things. Some of them probably won't work out. But I tried to only get the things that I truly, truly wanted. You know, I know I wanted a couple of candles to get that smell good vibe going on at home. I have other candles, but I wanted a couple of the replica ones because I love the replica fragrances. I just picked up, um, what is this one? Bubble Bath? The one that I love that I wear is lazy sunday afternoon oh, i love that the other ones are a little bit a little bit smoky the the fireside by the fireside is a little bit smoky the beach walk one is a little bit salty and spicy for me but the lazy sunday afternoon that smells like linen fantastic and this bubble bath one it smells good on me and i that's why i wanted to try them in store because i have to make sure they smell good on me so i got the candles i got candles in the same fragrance the lazy sunday afternoon and the bubble bath so i'm gonna have that like sexy smell at home i have other like glade candles for when i want fresh but when i want sexy you know then i have those i don't really do candles too much so that's just a one-off and then the fragrance i wanted to get another replica fragrance um what else with my ulta points i'd gotten my daisy dream so i didn't need to pick that up and yeah i didn't go crazy on fragrance i got a couple of candles got a couple of lip products got that foundation i don't think i did, did mm, i don't think i went crazy like too too crazy the candles were expensive by themselves and the fragrance is expensive so, so that definitely like hiked up what i spent but as far as quantity i didn't get too much at least what i don't Whatever, I'm going to show you, okay? I'll show you in a bit. And now it's time to grab some gas. Yes, I fill my own tank up. So tell me why people are complaining about the gas prices. I know they're higher than they used to be. Like we're looking for $2 or something per gallon. But I remember when gas prices were close to $6. So I'm not going to complain right now. When it starts going further up, then I'll get nervous. But right now I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and shut up and just go with it. At least I am able to put gas in my car. So I'm going to come my blessings that way but yeah can you imagine i'm paying like 40 something dollars for a half a tank of gas right now that's not cute i don't like that all right so it is the next day and i waited until my online order was delivered it was delivered really quickly so remember the sale started friday i went in store friday and then my delivery came today which is saturday and i'm like Oh my god, that's perfect. So it came really quickly. So I can show you everything I picked up in store and also what I ordered online. So I picked up two luxury candles, something I never do. So we have two replica candles. It's from, I can say Mason Margilia or Maison Margilia. Y'all, I don't know how to pronounce the first part, but I know it's Margilia. Anyhow, replica and I got Lazy Sunday Morning. And this is my favorite fragrance from the line. So I picked up the candle and I also got Bubble Bath, which is a new one that I tried out. I also got a duo of fragrances. So I got Bubble Bath and By the Fireplace. These are the two I tried out in store. And I'm wearing Bubble Bath right now on my wrist. And up close, when I smell it, I'm like, oh my God, it smells so good. But then the throw, like the scent that I get from a distance, I'm not in love with. So I feel like I'm going to have to layer it. 
And then by the fireplace is very woodsy and smoky. It's not necessarily my favorite kind of fragrance, but when you layer these types of fragrances, they smell really good. It's like Santal 33. That one smells also smoky, but when you layer it, it smells really good. Anyway, those are the fragrances and candles. La Mer, I picked up shade 450 sepia i tried out shade 63 sienna that was just too deep so i ended up with this shade and i think it should be fine and then i got my westman atelier trio this is the trio of petite sticks so we have what is this one i can't read it from here oh this is the contour stick this is in the lighter shade I use this contour stick on in the deeper shade on my nose. It's a great soft nose contour. And then I believe this is a highlight stick. So this is in the lighter shade that I don't have. Excuse me, Mr. Plain, you're disrupting. And then this is a blush. These are so cute. And the shade in this is petal, which I don't have. So these three shades I don't have. And oh, oh, oh. This will make a great little travel set as well. That is nice. I can't wait to use that. And then in store, I went ahead and I grabbed, this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I got just the mini size because I don't trust it. I just want to try it out. I also got the Tower 28 Duo that I said I was going to get. This is the Milky Lip Gloss. The Duo itself is called Ice Ice Baby, but the new shade is Chestnut and then chill is the clear gloss so that's a good duo to have and then i picked up two lipsticks from Yves Saint laurent well it's not two lipsticks one is a velvet cream this is in shade 212 which is rouge rebel oh it's so difficult to show these shades so this is like a deep brick orangey shade which i love and then the other shade is one of the voluptuous shines this one is a beautiful nudie shade. So just an everyday glossy lip. This is a beautiful nude on my skin tone. And then I also grabbed two eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. So we have the Sophisticate. This is one of the quads. Did I say I picked up two quads or two palettes? Yeah, this is one of the quads. This is the All Matte Quad and it's cool tone shades Ugh, here we go so these shades are like right up my alley it's all matte so I'm, I'm so excited about that and then i got the super nudes easy eye palette Ugh, opening these things with one hand i'm telling you this one i already showed in my previous haul because i'd hauled it and returned it because it was just too much but those are the shades really nice really easy it like it fits the name super nudes easy eye palette so that's it that's all i got from sephora because i already did a haul i will link it so you guys can check it out i'll link it over here but i did a whole haul so i have tons and tons of products already and these were just the things that i wanted to pick up so i'm gonna actually do a get ready with me video using the new foundation and the primer for sure I don't know about the eyeshadow palette. I'll probably just use another more fun palette. But yeah, this is everything I picked up from Sephora during their sale. As I was packing up, I realized that I forgot to show you guys my baby blender from Westman Atelier. I also picked this up. So this is a blending brush from Westman Atelier. This is one that Michelle Wong raves about. Oh, she's the one hand thing again. So... It looks like this, but it reminds me so much. It's very nice. It's very cute, but it's it's expensive. And it reminds me of a brush that I have from Sonia G already. So this is from the Fusion series. It's the Soft Concealer Brush. And they look very similar in shape. And I love this brush from Sonia G. So I know I will like this baby blender. It's slightly bigger. But to me, it's the same shape. It's going to achieve the same kind of effect, like that rounded dome top. I can do a lay down or blend in with it. And it has a shorter handle, so I prefer the Sonia G one. So, I mean, I'll use it. I'm happy for it. But if you were ever interested in it, get the Sonia G um, Soft Concealer. Michelle, if you're listening, 
This one may be a great one for you to try out since you like the Baby Blender so much from Westman Atelier. It's a better brush and it's a blend and it's super soft and I think it, yeah, it's going to achieve the same effect. All right, now that's all that I picked up from the Sephora sale. All right, guys, I have a confession to make. I went a little bit nuts just now. I went on a shopping spree for holiday nails. I know, like, what is going on here? I went to Dollar General, I went to three different Targets, okay, <laughs> and I went to Walgreens, oh, and I went to Ulta, so I went on a hunt for these nails that, well, these nails, honestly, these were sent to me by Kiss, so I'm doing a sponsored video for them for their nails and their lashes, and you guys already know I love their nails and lashes, so it's like the sponsorship fit so perfectly but these nails can we talk these are amazing and these are supposed to be at dollar general but i couldn't find them at dollar general so that's how i ended up at target but then target didn't have all the styles in the one location that said they had it in stock so then i had to go to other locate anyway the point is i ended up all over the place and these are the nails that i picked up let me go through the boring ones first I picked up these natural nails. So these are the clear tips, right? So they're see-through. They are, what is this style called? It's not stiletto because they're not pointed. They're coffin or ballerina. I think they're ballerina because they have the squared off tips. So I got the clear ones because I ordered some nail polishes from Static Nails. They had a sale for their Black Friday sale and I picked up some of their nail polishes because I haven't tried out their nail polishes. I do have their press on nails, but I've never tried the nail polishes. So I picked up a couple of colors and I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna polish my natural nails. So I'm gonna polish these, um, these clear um, press ons. So got two of those, you know, to try them out. And then I also got these nude ones. So these are the acrylic nudes with French tips but they look very natural and I feel like I can also paint over these. So I picked two of these up as well. So these are um, less expensive. They're like $4.99 or $5.99 and I got them on sale at Walgreens for buy one get one 50% off. So that's why I got um, four of those, right? Then I got a few designs for the holidays. So these are the masterpiece styles and they have like the crystals, the adornments, the embellishment, like the extra. And like, look at these nails, right? Do you see the holographic ones? And then they have plain ones, like, come on! The thing about these styles though, is that these are gonna be the majority of the embellished ones in the set. And this contains 30 nails. Oh, it does say it. So it says it has 30 nails, 12 accent nails. But not all the accent nails are going to be like this. I'll probably open one and show you. But the majority of them will be like these designs, right? So you have this one. This style is... It doesn't say what the style is. These pretty ones, okay? And I picked up two of those because they're just really pretty. And I feel like they're going to be the same shape like these. These are a little bit pointier, I feel are more narrow than these but these are so pretty like look they're so pretty and then after i picked those up i was like all right let me get another one so these ones have similar like the similar accent nails right they're similar but the other nails they have glitter ones and then these are a nude so i thought those were gorgeous and then of course i had to go extra they have this blue one look how pretty this is Oh my god, this is like perfect, definitely for Christmas because it's like blue, so it's like snow. You know, it's pretty, like, isn't that stunning? Oh my god. And then I got another masterpiece one. These, again, are more of a simple style. They have the crystal ones, but you see, like, the different designs, and then they have glitter, and then they just have plain light nude ones. That's cute, right? So these are all the masterpiece ones that I got. Now they also have the majestic ones, which we'll get into in a second, but I'll show you this one, the voguish ones first. These are the fantasy ones. I got these because look at the marble. Isn't that cute? 
That's cute. So I was thinking, since these are black and white marble, right? Those are gonna go with these majestic nails. So these majestic ones are almost $20 a piece. I know, but at Walgreens, it was buy one, get one 50% off. And then this one was on clearance. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. So I actually got a pretty, I got two of these for 20. So that worked out. But these are black. Do you see the, um, this one has like, what is that, giraffe print? That's giraffe, right? So it's silver and black, embellishments again, but these have the larger crystals on them. I was figuring this one would pair well with this one because I have the marble and I could mix and match because you can swap them out. And these have 30 nails, this has 28. So you can like mix them around, use the different accent nails. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna pair that with those. That works out, right? And then the other two majestic ones that I picked up, oh, look at these. I hope you guys can't see my reflection in any of this packaging because I am naked. <laughs> Just took a shower. Can you imagine? I did flash my titties on camera once. So yeah, good job with that. So I was filming swatches and up close views of like palettes and stuff. And I opened one of the palettes and the mirror reflected my titties. And I was like, ah, oh, my God, someone reached out to me. She's like, uh, Tina, you may want to know that you're naked in one of your um the up close shots in your swatch video and i'm like what are you talking about she's like yeah you were naked and i'm like whoa and she like time stamped me exactly where it was and i'm like wow thank you so much you know who you are thank you so much because i was able to just like edit that part out so it's no longer up <laughs> i thought i would have to take the video down but i was able to edit out that part using youtube on the back end so that worked out but anyway if I'm naked here, I'm gonna have to go through the footage and make sure I'm not naked. Anyway, here you go. What are these? Oh, majestic nails. So these ones are clear and silver and they have like gray, like slate crystals, not black. Those are pretty. I thought those were neat. And then these are nudie ones. The larger crystal ones are the majestic and then the regular crystals are masterpiece. Let me open up one of these. I need both hands, so I'll be right back. So here you have the inside of one of the majestic sets. So the crystal nails, the crystal accent nails are all here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then I found one additional one. So you have six crystal nails you have a few glitter nails so we have some more accent nails but those are the glitter ones and then the rest of the sizes are all the nude style which i don't mind so much but yeah you don't get a ton of the crystal ones in here even though it says you get 12 accent nails and it's saying here that you can reuse these up to three times that is a whole lie well okay there is a little bit of truth to that if you use the adhesive tabs, if you use the glue, because they include glue and they also have the sticky tabs, these don't really work well for me, the sticky tabs, so I don't use those, I use the glue. And after using the glue, that's it, just call it a wash. But if you use the sticky tabs, I guess you can reuse them. I don't do that, so yeah. And then inside one of the masterpiece sets, again, you have the glue and you have the accent nails sitting there and let's see what they include oh they have another crystal one yay that's pretty they have a couple glitter ones again and then the majority of them are this blue oh no they have two crystal ones here okay we have another crystal and then matte blue Ooh, it's almost like this set is working out better than the majestic ones even though the majestic ones are more expensive but i guess it's just the bigger the bigger crystals versus just these little rhinestones which i prefer the rhinestones anyway but yeah yeah so these are all my nails i know i went crazy i just um did a haul with static nails too so am i obsessed with press on nails yes i am which is again why the sponsorship worked out for me so if you guys just want to go over there and leave me a comment on that sponsorship video that would be perfect because then they would know like yeah she was great to do a sponsorship with so i'm not saying i'm just saying all right so i'll talk to you guys later <laughs> uncle rock mm -hmm.
Watch Donald over there, so fear about Beetlejuice. You want Donald? If you fear about Beetlejuice. Uh, so you know American and uh, I used to pepper. Mm -hmm. How is the cornbread? Good. Cornbread tastes good for true. And your brother really <laughs> want to eat this. Your brother can't eat this. Poor tea. You should come and suck off it so eat him. We are not from far from here. And I have back here with the pepper shrimp. So I honestly have no idea where this vlog left off. The last I remember is that I had to send my vlog camera out for repair. So the screen went completely berserk and then it's been topsy-turvy ever since. I know we had Thanksgiving, so I don't know if I got any of that though because again, the camera was out. Why is it beeping now? Like what is going on? I swear to God. Mm -mm -mm. So with that being said, wherever we left off, that's where we're ending the vlog because next week is Christmas. I'm going to Florida to spend it with my family. So I'm gonna upload this and then follow up with the holiday vlogs, right? That makes more sense. And just to give you quick updates, I have a new job. I put in my two weeks, my last day, like my last real working day is today. And I'm ready to get the hell out of Dodge. Just, I love my job, right? But low key, based on how they've reacted to me resigning, it was time for me to go. So that's happening. Um, what else? Oh, I pierced my ear. I should have brought you guys along for that. So I added a fourth hole on my lobe. I am scared to do any piercings above my lobe, okay? Because cha, it looked painful. I'm not ready for that commitment. But you see these threader earrings that I have in right now? I like this style, but I want to be able to use one of the holes, well, the first hole for my hoops and then use the threader, which is why I added a fourth hole so I'd have three holes to put the The point is, I pierced my ear, and this is the first time I'm experiencing bruising. So I don't know, maybe you can see, but I have like a little bruise around the hole. Anyway, around the hole. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I might do, hmm. Let me know if you guys are interested in like pop-in car chats, like really short car chats where we talk about popular topics. Like one thing that I want to kind of laugh about is the Khloe Kardashian and what's his name? Travis? No, he's not Travis. What's his name? It's a T name, isn't it? I don't know his name, child. I got to go figure that out. What's his name for real though? Damn. But he's having another baby, outside baby, and she over there getting loud with Jordan, and I don't like that. Meanwhile, I mean, still, she's a woman, so she has feelings and stuff, but, like, all of that, so I want to laugh about that. I really don't want to get into, like, Trisha Paytas, because just a mess. Just a whole mess. But, you know, like, quick chats like that I want to do. What is, is it the... Oh, my God. It was the dishwasher that was beeping all the time. I thought it was the camera that was beeping. Anyway, I'm about to try my first LaCroix. You guys, I just tweeted about this and I'm being told that it tastes like warmed over butt, pretty much. It tastes like TV static and a little bit of flavor. So I got limoncello, because a lot of people seem to like limoncello. And then <clears throat> guava Sao Paulo. So I Googled this and, and tried to find out the best flavors. The number one flavor wasn't an option at Target, so I just picked those two up, and then I picked up um, Sprite Zero. I am trying to eliminate my soda habits, so I'm trying to drink flavored soda without the sugar. It's not really the soda I want to get rid of, it's the sugar, so I need to definitely cut down. Cut down on my sugar is like major cut down, so I haven't had lattes or coffee but i've still been having soda which is a very bad habit right very bad i've cut out milk so i'm not having milk anymore so that's gone so now i need to cut out my sugar intake i don't really eat i've been eating some chocolates lately but i don't really eat dessert like cakes and I, okay i had some ice cream but that's neither here nor there i'm not really like a dessert fan even though i've been really having a craving for sweets that's not good, so I need to cut that out. That is what I'm trying to cut out for 
the holidays. I mean, it will be a little bit tricky. I don't mind eating food and stuff. Like, carbs aren't my thing. It's the sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. So that's what I'm doing right now. Wish me luck. If these taste bad, I'm fighting everybody because everybody's like, oh, LaCroix is so delicious. If it's not delicious, I am fighting you guys. <laughs> All right? So this is the end of the vlog. I will talk to you next week during the holidays. And I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And until the next video, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.